Hello everybody and welcome to my 13th Intermediate Excel tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to do conditional formatting. Um, now, conditional formatting is, is very useful um, and it's something that a lot of people find that they, they need to use on quite a regular basis. Um, so I'm going to go into it in quite a lot of detail. Um, if I can just show you the basics first. Um, so if I, uh, this is just a table of um, audits, I guess. Um, um, this is how many um, of each type of audit they've got. Obviously, red is bad, amber is a little bit bad, and green is good. Um, and let's say we want to put a colouring on on the the, gr the green percentage. Um, so if I go on this, all you do to do conditional formatting is go. Uh, highlight the cells you want to do it in, format, conditional formatting and it will come up with this box. Um, it will look different in 2010 um, so if you're using 2010 um, you'll need to watch uh, different tutorials that I plan on making at a later date um, but for 2003 this is how you do it um, and you've got a choice of cell values or formulas. I'm going to use cell values at the moment. So whatever you put in here is going to reference. It's going to color the cell that you're you're um, referencing. And then you've got an option of uh, all the different types of kind of uh, lookups you want. So you've got between, not between, equal to, not equal to, uh, greater than. And essentially, what it's going to do if this um, if this uh, equation, I guess, um, equates to true, then it's going to colour it in whatever you put in this format. So I'm going to do greater than, and I'm going to do greater than uh, its percentage, so I'm going to do it 0.90, uh, and if it's greater than 0 0.90, aka 90%, then I'm going to click on format. I'm going to go on to patterns and I'm going to make it green. Um, you can also change what the borders are like, you can change what font it is, um, but for now I'm just going to colour it in green. Um, I'm then going to add another format. And you can add, you can only add up to three. Um, and then that's it. So if you need more than three, then you're going to need to learn VBA. Um, and I'll I'll show you how to do that in one of my VBA tutorials. Um, so greater than and then 0.75. If it's greater than 0.75, I'm going to set it to uh, amber. And then last one, if cell value is greater than zero, uh, then make it red. Okay. Um, so as you can see here, each cell is tested, each of those um, conditional formats in turn, and coloured the cells appropriately. So anything over 90% is done in green, anything that's not over 90% but is over um, 80, what was it, 75% is amber, and then anything else is going to be red. Um, I can keep drag... Uh, Keep copying this format down um, because it's not gonna it's not gonna matter until you've actually got something in the cell um, because uh, I've put in that last one that says if it's greater than zero, which means it's only gonna colour it in if it isn't equal to nothing. Um, so let's just get rid of those. Um, so that is how you use it when you're referencing the cell itself. Um, by putting in uh, the the cell value is um, and you can use any of these less than, greater than or equal to uh, between uh, and you just put in values that is between so I could put in 0.9 there but because it does this test first and then if this one's true it ignores the rest then that's not going to make a difference anyway it's just going to be the same see so yeah, how much time we've got left plenty so I'll show you how to do the formula on as well so this is good for a quite simple way of doing it if 
you are doing the cell itself but what if I want to color the rest of these cells um, if I just highlight one and go into conditional formatting I'm gonna I can't do it with these because it's gonna reference itself whereas in reality I want it to reference this cell um, I'm gonna do this in the person one to do this you need to do a formula and then you've got to put in a formula that's gonna evaluate to either true or false so um, I'm going to put in uh, that cell uh, is greater than 0.9 now you notice it's already put dollar signs in for me but I don't want it to stay static on the rows I want it to stay static on the columns because as I drag the formatting across I want it to still be referenced in this column uh, but as I drag the uh, drag the formatting down, I want the the row to be dynamic and reference the row across there. So if I delete the percentage sign before the three, then that's going to make it dynamic. Um, and if I put my format on that, so that's going to make it green. I'm then going to add another one. Formula is. Uh, I'm just going to copy this formula and change it to 0.75 and that's going to be amber and then last but not least formula is paste it in there greater than zero and then that's going to equal red so if click OK so that's done just this cell and then all I need to do with the others is just copy the format across using the uh, format painter and there you can see that now it's highlighting the whole row um, with that conditional format. Um, if I go into this one you'll see that all of the references have changed to what this one's referencing. So as you drag formats across, the same as if you drag formulas across, um, the references are going to change according to whether or not you've got the dollar signs. So the absolute key to this is making sure your dollar signs are in the right place and making your referencing go to the right cells. So uh, that's it for conditional formatting. Um, have a play around with it. There's there's lots you can do. You can make your formulas as complicated as you like. Um, and but that's it for now. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.